Confidence is all about taking control. A patient or an athlete will come to you and they'll say, I'm in pain. I need your help. I want to be competing. I want to be training. I, I don't want to be in this discomfort because ultimately I can't do the things that I love. The things that I love, if you're not treating anyone in sport, it might mean that they want to play an afternoon uh, game of cricket with their children, okay? And they can't because they've got pain and they've got, say, back pain. You have to be in a position to take control and say, okay, you've got pain and I'm going to try and solve that problem for you. Just by being able to communicate that, you are taking control. You are the person who's taking that person from point A to point B. And the importance of that is so vital. Um, most people, when they come to you, they're unsure. They, I like to call this the grey zone. Um, situations can be black and white, where uh, it's either a yes or a no, uh, but when a person comes to you, they're in a grey zone. They are not sure what's happening, they don't know what's going on with their bodies, they don't know whether they'll be okay, <clears throat> and they are, they are scared. You are the one who decreases that grey zone. You are the person who creates a black and white zone. You say, well, this is where we are now. Okay? This is where we are right now. Plus, this is where I'm going to get you to. I'm going to help you go from here to here. I'm the conduit to your happiness. And if you have that mindset, if you're thinking about that, then you're taking control. Another aspect to confidence is to have a friendly and pleasing manner. If we are in the profession of happiness, okay, if we are in the profession of happiness, we are people who are trying to make people happy. We are also trying to help people out of pain and we're taking them through a journey we're in control we can't do that if we don't have a pleasing or a friendly personality we need to have excellent communication skills we need to have excellent skills to show people how to get through that journey and you are able to do that by creating this okay um, <clears throat> for some people this doesn't come too easy um, but for some it's very simple the first thing they might do is they have a smile on their face so most practitioners they have a smile on their face how important is that when a person sees when a person in pain sees you um, you're not, you're not smiling away going, oh, wow, you're in pain. But you have that personality to be open and say, that's all right. You know, I know you're in discomfort. You have that friendly nature to yourself, but you know, you're, you're pleasing as well. Okay? So don't, don't go overboard with this. You're not smiling ear to ear when they're describing how bad, uh, how, how they've missed out on their, on their uh, medal. You're not doing that by all means. I don't mean that at all. What I'm trying to say is that to be friendly and to have a pleasing personality goes a long way and that improves your confidence as well. Because if you have this, the interaction and the communication is a lot easier and it's a lot better.